They have to, we are already over here. <laughs> they have no choice in this room. Okay, no, shall we? No, no. Yes. Did the John never wear underwear at home? Um. Uh. <laughs> Just more than. Chow, John, Dorian, please wear your bra, your panty, your underwear, please all wear. Hello. Oh, I hear noises. Okay. So Charlie prison. Charlie prison going on. Hello! Oh my god! Okay. Bye. Hey! Hey! Bye. Hey! 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 Area please sensor. <laughs> it is a 7 to 800 square feet apartment. There are three bedrooms. The bedroom sizes vary quite a bit. Lah. It is uh, one master bedroom and then there are two common rooms with another common toilet. I think it's a very, very comfortable space. Three people a bit squeezy. I think ideally two people stay in this house. Lah. <laughs> let's give us a home tour. Oh, the, the entire place? Yes. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the doorway and when you enter the apartment, the first thing you see is this shelf. I actually got it uh, with my ex for my previous house. But then when we gave up our house, uh, we decided to move it here. Lah. I guess I got this as a gift from my ex, right? Then there was this person on IG or I think YouTube comments also kept hounding me. She was like, where you get the shelf from? Where you get the shelf? Where do you get the shelf from? Then I was like, mm, it's from my ex. <laughs> so then I told her eventually and then she never replied me. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, whoever you are. Yeah. This rug here, basically when we entered the apartment, right, it was very, very bad. Whether or not your rental unit comes with furniture is very dependent on your landlord. So there was a dining table, there were some desks and tables, but those were not very useful. There were bed frames, mm. as well as simple appliances like your fridge, your dryer, and your washer. Yeah. So the first thing I did was look up where can I get a huge rug. Mm. And then I found this on Carousel for $0! Yay! Please tell everybody how you managed to get it for $0. You go to Carousel, right? You just filter minimum 0 to $2, okay? Mm. More often than not, right? You'll get multiple hits for things that mm. will fit the bill. This house did come with a couch. It was a bit grimy and gross, but then the sunlight comes in here every morning. Yeah, you see our lovely couch model here. Yeah, so it like suns the couch lah. Okay, we move over here. This is Doreen's TV that she brought over. I bought this shelf to perfectly match Doreen's TV. <laughs> a bit too perfect ah. very scary uh, yeah. But there's like 2 millimeters of space over here. You know, you can't move the shelf anyhow. So this shelf I got on Carousel, it was about $20 thereabouts. And they wanted to toss it out lah, cause it's uh, damaged here. But I, I like the look of it. This came with the apartment, the fridge, like I mentioned. And this shelf is great, cause it carries basically everything else that we need for kitchen use that cannot actually fit in our kitchen. Okay, our kitchen is really quite tiny la. Like, I think it will fit comfortably to next. So this is a stove that has a gas cylinder we have to change over there. This is the sink area. That's pretty much it. And then, uh, there are all these shelves up here, right, that I cannot reach. Which is why I have to put like, all the plates and the utensils on the shelves outside. <laughs> There's nothing on top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I do want to reach anything, I use a stool. I had to buy a boiler because the boiler that came with the house, right, was super disgusting and gross. It was sticky, like the handles were sticky, and I don't know why. I don't know who lived here before us, lah, but. Okay, out we go. Let's go to the rooms. Okie dokie, so now that we're done with our tiny living room, come, let's go to the, the bedrooms. bedrooms. It's bedroom number one. This is Doreen's room. Yeah, I came in here with this note. I thought it was very sweet of them. 
It says, now go do the dishes <laughs> on my very first day. <laughs> so, uh, my room's kind of small. Uh, we joke that it's the Harry Potter basement of this house, which is kind of true. But you pay for what you get, and I get a really pretty good rent from sharing with everybody. It's uh, more like a hall space, and I think it gets everything done. I sleep, sometimes I eat here, don't worry, I clean up. And yeah. Like a porno, I know. <laughs> no, 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, this place ain't no place for that. Charles the one where there's porn in it. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my room which I have put a lot of effort into and I'm quite proud of and I'll tell you why. This is where the magic happens. So you see my computer, my everything, my camera with my audio mixer just to prove that I'm professional. <laughs> yeah. Then now this side is my uh, lepak side. Right, this is my bed. Right, it might not look like a bed right now and I know a lot of you Singaporeans are like, huh? Why your bed got handlebars? Right, it's for sex, not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> then my bed got handlebars, right? Because it's a sofa bed, it's in sofa mode now. When I sleep, right, this bed opens perfectly to fill this width. This is a DIY hobby hub slash shelf that I got from IKEA. And I combined and Frankenstein it with a lot of different uh, parts of IKEA stuff. Uh, I created this hobby hub down here. So that if, let's say, people want to come over and do work, people being like my girlfriend, for example, she has a secondary table because there's only one table, it's a small space, right? So I try to create things that can do multiple purposes. I also uh, do my camera stuff down here. And then uh, on the wall, right, I actually mounted this little cage thing here. The product is still on the way, but I'm getting a projector. Eventually, I can sit here and use the projector. This shelf comes with a cover, this roll-down cover. Serves two purposes. First would be to hide clutter, if there's clutter. Second would be a very makeshift projector screen. Sit down, I can put my Nintendo Switch there, I can play game on it. Nifty, huh? Okay, welcome to my room and this is the final room that's at the end of the corridor when you enter the house. The toilet is over there. Very nice place, I love it so much. I love that I have a private toilet because then I can put all my things everywhere and also it means that I shower already right, I can walk out here naked. <laughs> then I just change straight away. This over here is my work desk. Don't take anything here because you're very messy. <laughs> Just shoot like that, okay? So this is where I work from home. I have a very very comfortable standing desk over here. But uh, right now my table is also very messy. I'm working on it. Stop it! Don't shoot the mess! <laughs> so right in front of my desk is a second desk. And this desk right is for anyone who comes to our place and feels like hanging out or feels like working at our house. This desk, I got for zero dollars on Carousel. This desk, which is my vanity, I also got for free on Carousel. I bought these uh, desk organizers so that I could uh, further organize. All these little items won't be thrown around everywhere. Lah. These are all Polaroid frames that used to hold Polaroid pictures. When I had a school event, then they had a Polaroid booth, right? At the end of the day, they had a full bag of all these black frames, right? They wanted to throw away, I just brought it home. So till today, I'm still using it. So let's move over to the next favourite part of the room. That would be my bed. So this is my bed. Initially, when I first came to this house, they had two queen beds. One queen bed was in John's room, and the second queen bed was in this room. But John and I both didn't want a queen bed because it takes up so much floor space. And when you're moving from a house to a room, which was for my case, uh, what was happening, I really had way too many things to fit into one small room. So I got rid of the queen and instead am sleeping on a single mattress. And instead of getting a big frame, right, which would have cost me money or it would have cost me more space, I decided to just plant my mattress on these wooden pallets that I got for free on Carousel. So <laughs> you may be able to see a running trend. I like to look for free things on Carousel. I think one of my main motivations when it comes to looking for all these free things, right, is that they have a lot of life to them and I just want to prolong that. I feel like if it's not broken, it can be used. Okay, so this is the other space that I have in my room. So I actually put a lot of thought into what each corner right, of the room will function as. La. All the leisure things right, on this half of the room, so that that half will spell work and then here will be rest. 
And then here we have my mirror space. So this is where I oh, got bra wait. <laughs> <laughs> And this area, right, is where I have a bit of my hobby things. Then I try on my clothes, I take my IG story. I have an extra clothing rack over here, which I took from my friend's office, right? The clothes all here, right, are maybe clothes I wear one or two times that I haven't washed. Because it's not dirty enough for the wash, but it's not clean enough for the wardrobe. Okay, so now we have come to the end of the wonderful house tour. Maybe. We have a chat also about how you can advise people our age or maybe younger who mm -hmm. want to rent. What are some of the positives and negatives of moving out of your parents' home? I think it is actually very specific to your personal circumstance and your relationship with your family. Mm -hmm. For the positives side, right, I think having the personal space had made a lot of difference to my quality of life, to my emotional health, my mental health and having the space and freedom to do what I want when I want. It is quite common for Singaporean youth, right, to grow up with their family and to live with their families until they are like 30 even, 30 plus, or until they're married. It's really very, very common. That basically makes us very used to being in our family space. Lah. But I would say not all families create a very conducive, healthy environment. So it's a personal choice about whether or not you want to change that circumstance for yourself. And I would even go so far as to say that it's very worth the money that you are spending if it helps you feel better. The negatives, <laughs> well you're spending a lot more money so you have to be very prudent and you have to be very disciplined about your finances. You need to grow up a lot quicker because you must go and learn about how you're going to be earning more money, how you're going to be able to save more money and how you're going to allocate your finances generally. You have to be very much more independent also. So for me personally, um, my mother did cook for us at home. Uh, now and then she would cook. But here, no one's gonna cook for me, I can't do it by myself, you know. I very much miss my mom's cooking, which is why I go back quite often or so. La. How do you guys decide who does what in terms of chores? We didn't set hard rules for chores. I think the general rule that we had, right, was just clean up after yourself and be considerate. I feel like it depends on your friend group also, because if you feel like these rules are going to help you live better with the people you are with, right, then uh, by all means do it. In fact, I would recommend and encourage it because once you set those clear rules, then uh, everybody's on the same page. So lastly, what kind of tips do you want to give people who want to rent? Of course, you got to understand your hierarchy of priorities, right? So do you prioritize price the most or do you prioritize location the most, accessibility, space? Whether you want to have an entire apartment or whether you want to just rent a room, the house, right, whether or not it comes fully furnished mm. or partially furnished or no furniture. Because uh, it adds everything, up. Yeah, it adds up. And everything mm. that we move in here, right, we need to take away. Or like everything that we buy for the house, we must clear. So this entire house, right, has to look the way we got it. How long is your lease going to be? How long do you intend to rent for? These are all things that you have to consider. So know what you need first. Know your priorities. Alright, thank you for watching this video. And if you have questions about living with housemates or renting, you can pop them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Watch our other videos over there. And if you want to send us things, uh, send to office. We love free things. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.